Hi guys, I'm Bombay Brat and I would be showing you a video on how to calculate limit of detection and limit of quantitation. This video is basically meant for uh, students practicing on either pharmacy or on medi medicines in general or anything which deals with the calculation of limit of detection and limit of quantitation. Now, as you all know or you might have read that limit of detection is uh, three times the standard deviation and limit of quantitation is 10 times the standard deviation. Now considering a typical spreadsheet like this, I'll just zoom it up for you if you want. You have a range of concentration values. Now in a, such a typical spreadsheet, you can always calculate the standard deviation using the, for, uh, using the formula. I'll just open the formula bar for you so that it will be easier for you to understand. All right. So now this particular formula bar, you can see it's, you have calculated the standard deviation using the formula STDEV into bracket F4 colon F23 so that you get the standard deviation of this particular lot. I'm sorry. Yeah. And uh, you have obtained the standard deviation values. Now when it comes to limit of detection this is how we have calculated it it is f29 that is the standard deviation value times 3 and uh, limit of quantitation can be calculated as f29 times 10 that is standard deviation times 10 now this is applicable in a typical spreadsheet like this but just say if you're working on drug release profiles and you go to calculate the limit of detection and limit of quantitation this is a typical uh, typical calibration curve that you might have of concentration versus absorbance i have included absorbance because i have done it using uv analysis but if you are uh, using hplc uh, you might just do it with peak area or whatever your parameter is now we have obtained a chart we all know how to get it using chart x y scatter and all this all these things and from the graph you can get the equation and the correlation coefficient as well now in such a case it's very difficult for you to calculate the standard deviation and i'm sure it would be it would not be accurate if you calculate the standard deviation and do it so the best way by which you can do it is enter a formula that is equal to and just zoom it up a bit if you can see yeah equal to s t e y x yeah it has given it to us here now in s t e y x this particular thing it calculates your known uh, x is uh, it calculates the standard error from your known x's and your known y's so these are our known y's because we want this on the y-axis comma these are our known x values just enter it to get the value of steyx we'll just name it All right. we will also need to calculate the slope that we have already obtained but it's better that we calculate it out here I'll just not calculate it I will just put it in point not point not one six not point not one six all right now STEYX is a function that I told you it calculates the standard error so for limit of detection the formula is equal to the value of STEYX over slope times 3.3 .3. this is your limit of detection and limit of quantitation can be calculated using equal to the value of STEYX that's your standard error I'm sorry I need to put a bracket all right 
STEYX over slope times 10. Now this is your limit of uh, quantitation that you have got from uh, this particular calibration graph of yours. Now why is this important? The reason why it is important is that in a spreadsheet like this where I am calculating drug release profiles I am doing a simple dissolution test. Now for uh, uh, absorbance at 2 minutes I get 0 0.096 as a for my 2 minute sample and for this I have calculated the drug percentage of dose is 3.01 now if you check this particular sheet again yeah what the hell am I doing? yeah 3.01 is well below the detection limit that is 8.11 microgram per ml so actually you're supposed to be making it to zero but I haven't made it to zero and the limit of quantitation that we have got is 24.59 now I'm using UV so if you're using HPLC I think your de detection limit would be quite accurate and you might want to rely on it but this is just theoretical that we have calculated yeah so up till six minutes it doesn't even fall in the detection limit or even the quantitation limit for that matter so I hope you all are aware by what LOD and LOQ is so yeah this is how you calculate it using Excel hope it helps and uh, wish you all the very best in your calculation cheers